Now we're going to be moving into the iliacus portion of the iliopsoas muscle group. So its origination point is the iliac fossa and then it's running down into the lesser trochanter of the femur. Its main action is going to be for hip flexion and for palpation on this, again what we're going to do is fold the knees because that'll take a little bit of slack off the lower abdomen. It'll just be easier for me to push in. I'm going to landmark right off the ASIS and then what I can do is slide a little bit more medially and he can take a breath and let it all the way out. And then what I can do is hook down and in. And once I have it pinned again, I can get him to push up into my hand and feel that contraction right beneath my thumb and relax. And again, you can do this across the whole muscle. Keep contracting. Good. So you feel it there. We can work down a little bit. Hold there. And all the while, you can feel contraction of the iliacus directly beneath my thumb. For the muscle test, we're going to straighten his legs out. It doesn't do a lot of external rotation, so it'll be a similar test position to the psoas major. However, we're not going to move his knee straight. We're not going to move his leg into lateral rotation. We'll just keep it there. Hold nice and strong as I slowly load in. And then relax. Keep in mind you're supporting nice soft but firm contact across the ASIS on the other side. The force is down directly into the table. Again, there's lots of involvement and contraction of the adductor muscle group. However, this is a really good way to focus in your efforts onto the iliacus muscle and get a good muscle test.